Hey Siri, are you scared of Cortana? We were talking about you, not me. <laughs> Siri's obviously getting a little upset here. What is Cortana? It's Microsoft's new voice assistant app. This is our deep dive into it to show you all its features. Cortana is probably the most anticipated feature of Windows Phone 8.1, and there's good reason. It's a very powerful app. It's still in its early stages of development, but you can see it is a major overhaul to what current users have on Windows Phone 8. What it just did now was bring down my personal preferences of things I want to see. So here are my top stories for today. Here's the latest in health news, latest in entertainment, and you can see I can hit see more news or hide this news as I go down and here is my weather. All of that is done through the settings here where you can tell it your interests and you can select things that you're basically want to know about. So traffic. So that's for instance, it's going to figure out eventually where you work or where your home is. It'll actually ask you if that's accurate and you can save it or not. It's totally up to you. If you do save it, it can then give you traffic recommendations for your drive home. So it's really smart and that it sort of learns what you're doing. The daily glance is just what we uh, showed you, and you can see I can go into that, and it can I can turn on, that on or off, which is really nice. Once again, headline news, entertainment, so I can configure and add stuff to this by hitting add, and you know it's basically completely configurable. Same thing with out and about. So if I'm not at home, it's going to give me recommendations for places to eat and things to do. Uh, there's also a trip planner so I could track my flights and follow information. Once again, it'll know when I'm like traveling abroad, which is really neat. And then you have the weather near me. So that is at least for interest. You can also do things like remind me. So this is just where I go to for reminders that has set. Quiet hours is a new feature. So this allows you to basically silence notifications during specific times. And you can completely set that up for how you want to operate, including breakthrough rules. So you can have an inner circle, which are your close contacts, say it's your wife, your husband, your child, and you can put them in there. And so they will bypass the system, meaning you will always hear their notifications no matter what. Likewise, you can set this here, which basically says, um, you know, if someone calls you twice within three minutes, it'll go through. The idea there is it's an emergency and they really need to contact you. And obviously they keep trying again. And you can see the breakthrough there. Uh, you can also see for text, you can also control that, or you can have an auto reply. Very powerful feature, one we've been waiting for a long time to hit Windows Phone. Uh, for places here, you can see your favorites, you can see recent, Microsoft Store, Starbucks, and you can even add your home location here and work and more. Music searches uh, are basically going to be your history of things that you use the Music ID app to um, you know, to try to identify music. And here are general Cortana settings. Uh, you can turn Cortana on or off, track flights or other things mentioned in your email. So it's sort of an interesting system, but there's a lot of privacy controls here. You can actually really tell Cortana what to look at, what not to look at. And that's very powerful compared to say Google system, which doesn't have such controls. Here you can configure it's the name that you want it to call you by. You can change at any time and you can have Cortana call you by that or not. Uh, Facebook signed out. That currently isn't actually working right now on this early build, but it can pull down your Facebook information. And you see battery saver, speech settings, search settings are down there as well. Uh, going back to the main app, sure you have your daily view here, but you can do other things. You can ID music just by tapping that button. And you're going to see now Cortana is listening and it'll bring up a result. If it does bring up a result, you can tap it. It brings you right to the Xbox Music Store, in which case you can then share that track or download it or purchase it, whatever you want. Now, although you can see the current information on my screen here, the real beauty of Cortana is being able to ask it something. And you can type in something there or you can hit the little microphone button. That should be familiar. But you can also be on any screen and now hit the search key to access Cortana. And there she goes, she pops up and I can now ask her something. No longer do you hold down the start key to bring that up. That's just, that feature has just been removed. So it's just search and that's universal. Where is the nearest Dunkin' Donuts? I found Dunkin' Donuts at 64 River Road West in Berlin. It's about two miles away. 
So as you can see, it brings up the information, ties into mapping, and gives you all sorts of details that you may want for your search. Likewise, you can tell Cortana to do certain things. Remind me in five minutes to feed the cat. All right, I can remind you to feed the cat at 1.12 p.m. today. Sound good? You can also tell Cortana to do other things, such as send a text message. Send a text to Phil Nickinson to tell him I'll be late. Text Phil Nickinson to tell him I'll be late. Send it, add more, or try again. So as you can see, you can do that. You can tell it to make phone calls. Uh, Cortana is very powerful, but if you don't know the commands of what you can do, you just hit see more. And as you can see, you, it brings up an entire list. You can make phone calls, you can do messaging, calendar, add a reminder, a note, which goes into your OneNote, and you can tap these and it'll give you actual sayings of uh, examples. Now it's pretty smart in the sense you don't need to say these things exactly. Uh, Cortana seems to be able to figure out what you mean uh, through contextual search basically. Um, so you could take a note, find bird watching, do that kind of thing. Uh, you can also see alarms, music, you can tell it to play a song, which is nice. Uh, places, search, and what's really neat here though, you can see I installed Foursquare earlier today, and now that app has showed up. Uh, Foursquare just had an update, it looks like it was tied into 8.1, and now when I tap that, I get all these uh, new commands I can say, and we can actually see if that works. Foursquare, check in. And so now it's going to launch Foursquare and just go hopefully right to that screen. We'll hit OK. This is the first time we're actually doing this, which is actually kind of interesting. And now it's going to bring up my location and I'll be able to check in uh, to places around me. So that is pretty neat. And there goes a reminder that we just set a few moments ago and we can hit complete or snooze. Uh, overall though, Cortana is very impressive uh, and you can also pin things to your start screen. So you can see uh, the weather tile here. And it's just gonna bring up weather for quick access. And you can go through and basically pin those individual items to your screen. So I have headline news, you can do that as well. Will I need an umbrella for tomorrow? That's probably not necessary. Here's the forecast. As you can see, Microsoft's Cortana is certainly a very powerful system. It is going to be one of the flagship features of Windows Phone 8.1, and we think it's really, really good. But what do you think? Does it live up to the hype? Do you want more? Head to WP Central for more information, and also see more of our deep dive videos into 8.1. Take care, bye.